I'm Martin, and I'm, I'm a teacher at the University of the Basque Country in Spain, and I'm also a writer. And, and so this project, Project Borderland, came about as a dialogue between myself and Thomas, yeah. who's a photographer. Um, so I had this text in which I was uh, thinking about the, um, the liminal area in which we all now dwell, really. Uh, we are halfway in, in the, um, on the internet dimension, so to speak, halfway in the real world. And so we wanted to show this experience of being in the borderland between the virtual dimension and the real world through using uh, different media. We wanted to use text, photography and film in order to, to, to have the viewer experience the same sort of yep. borderland Indeed. dwelling experience, so to speak. And, and so it, it began with the text, and the text is really it's a novel, and it's about a group of people who are players in a massive multiplayer online game. And they become so addicted to the game that their alter egos, their virtual identities, take over their own identities. So they want to take the avatar of the game into the real world and live as the avatar in the game. And so, of course, this also posits the problem of the influence of the people who made the game. They, they can influence the, real, the players because they have now become players in the real world. And so, to some extent, it also reflects the manipulation of, of the internet on, on all, our, all our lives, really. And so, what I did was to provide a text, and I gave the text to Thomas, yep. who is a photographer, and I asked him to give his own interpretation of the story. Exactly. You need to, sometimes you need, in uh, still life, you, you know, photography is occupation, you know, we have it kind of square. So my experience was need to push the boundaries. You need to combine the movie with still and text and everything is going together and with some music from a music producer on the show in Sweden. So we had to mix everything down. The new thing about this uh, exhibition is that the uh, pho photographs are not illustrations of the text. It's, they tell their own story. So when the reader is, uh, is confronted with the text, he also has, to, has access to the pictures in, in the book that we're making. But the pictures, they tell their own story. So you're already on, in a borderland as a reader between the, the text and in the pictures. So you, you don't really know, you have to negotiate that, those boundaries between text and, and picture as well. And that's one dimension, but the next dimension is the film. Yeah. Because film is a, is a language of its own. Yeah, right? film is a language of its own, you know. I try to implement my still photography in motion pictures. So I'm trying out something new. So it's, yeah, it's interesting. Actually, so you're using still pictures and you provide yeah. a story through a combination of stills, stills in the film form. Yeah. Exactly. But also it's, some motion. Yeah, it's some motion, somewhere. some still, and characters. So it's a new progress. Yeah, it's a new, it's a new kind of project, really. Also in black and white, rather than in color. It's also to show, to some extent, I think, the, um, like this liminal experience uh, in which it's, it's either black or white, or is it, uh, is it a mix of both things, right? Both extremes, they come together in black and white yeah. pictures, the, the shades of gray. Right, so we're in both dimensions at the same time. And I don't think that you can express that in the same way in color. We deliver an unpolished version of the reality. So you need to use your brain when you see the movie or look at the picture because you need to get it going in your own mind. And that's uh, important, I think. Because in color photography, you deliver a a finished concept, you know, everything is finished. But in black and white, you can deliver an unfinished project and everybody is, oh, that's nice. Well, it's about creativity, intelligence, and, and the imaginative possibilities offered by the medium mm -hmm. of, what well, different arts, a combination of different arts. I think the Congress is about combining different approaches to reality, different expressions of reality in different media, architecture, uh, literature, film in this case. So we thought it was a very suitable concept to, to talk about specifically here in this Congress for that yeah. reason, yeah. this combination of different media.